Hey, what's going on, people? Yeah, I want today, I'm going to show you um, some of the things that goes on behind the scenes that uh, if you're in business for yourself or thinking about getting in business, I'm going to break down this load, why I took it, and uh, basically how you can do the same thing. Um, this is not a slap in the face of anybody or anything like that. It's just, you know... I try to be truthful with the information that I, I bring out. Um, and I'm also open for a correction. So, you know, with that being said, let's break down this load. Now, I'm sitting, today I was sitting home, and I'm looking uh, looking on the load board. Uh, here's, a, here's a tip, here's a tip before I get there. Let's say you're leased to a small company, all right? And... You ask them if you can use their DOT number, MC number, to find your own freight. Some of them may say yes, some of them may say no. Uh, I have the authorization to find my own freight, you know, to, through the company that I'm leased to. So um, this week I took the option of not doing my regular runs. So I was just gonna stay home, not stay home, but stay in my local area and you know run the the short hops and see if i can make it work so i have my truck posted up there uh on the load board um you know uh with the phone number and i got a couple calls today sorry for the shaky camera i'm holding it got a couple calls today and you know just tire kickers you know nothing really serious um so this guy calls me and he says he has his load available, picks up in Philadelphia, goes to Philadelphia. And I was like, all right, well, what's the catch? He's like, there's no catch. I have, you know, other loads to move and I just want to, you know, get this one taken care of. So, you know, he goes through the details. Uh, the mileage on the load is 10 miles, maybe 10, maybe 11, something like that. 10 miles. I know where both the stops are. Uh, as, as of right now, the Downingtown National Convention, I mean, not down, Downingtown. Democratic National Convention is in town, so 95 is closed to trucks. So if you're not from the area or know the area, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you might get all tangled up. So I know some uh, other ways around. I ain't going to say call them shortcuts, but I know some other ways around. But no big deal. Load picks up at 8 and delivers at 1, uh, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So... Again, 10 miles. Now, focus your attention over here to the notes. This is very key. This particular load needs $150,000 worth of cargo insurance. Most carriers only have 100000 or less. So that right there eliminated a lot of people, a lot of carriers, because they wouldn't be able to call this load because they don't have enough insurance. Um... So that's a plus for the company I'm leased to because they have a, a big uh, 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 big amount for cargo insurance. Um, total weight, 43000 Not really too concerned with that. Um, now, let me show you what this load pays to go 10 miles. 10, 10 loaded miles. See that right there? Line haul rate, $500. Uh, now the company gets that. I don't get all of that. I get a percentage of that, which still, I still make out. I still make out pretty good. Uh, why do I make out pretty good? I'm still operating on the same fuel that I had in the tank since last week. Um, uh, so I think I put, uh, a majority of the fuel I, I bought last week. So I put $50 in last, uh, on, uh, the beginning of the week for this uh for one another load that i ran which i made out pretty good on you know i made you know i, I didn't go anywhere the load was I think ten thousand pounds and i mean i was running around i've been running around empty pretty much you know all week so uh I'm, i don't have a big fuel expense this week as opposed to uh running over the road you know where i'm dropping you know <laughs> 800 to a thousand dollars a week depending on you know how heavy the loads are and everything um, so 
I'm trying this local things out, this local thing out. So that's what it pays, you know, five hundred dollars. And uh, sorry, putting my hand in there, getting the shadow. So what happens after the load? Well, since it's in Philadelphia, there's all kinds of freight coming out of Philadelphia that is going to uh, uh, back in the direction where I came from. So I can easily grab another load out of Philadelphia. I ain't going to say easily, but I can grab another load out of Philadelphia or I can scoot across the bridge over to uh, New Jersey and grab one and go back where I came from. So, I mean, and hopefully, you know, it's another light load to where I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not burning any fuel. When I say not burning any fuel, it's just a figure of speech to where, you know, it's instead of getting, you know, five, six miles a gallon, I'm getting like eight to 10 miles a gallon. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, so that's that. So it puts me in a good situation uh, uh, when it comes to that. So again, this is not a slap in the face of anybody. This is showing you behind the scenes and um, you know, Casanova talks about this, uh, the weight, the distance and the direction. So could I have gotten more out of the loop? Sure, but you know, I've it worked for me. So, you know, then I, I got that broker's number, so I gave him a call. Hey, man, what you got? You know, you remember I called this load for you, took care of you? Yeah, so, you know, that's how that works, too. But I hope this video um, is kind of answering questions on, you know, if I am to put information out there uh, for sale, why someone would want to buy it. So uh, that's all. See you on the next one.